Hey guys, welcome to the second video of our trilogy of um, Christmas videos that we're doing. So, um, as you remember from the last video we did, we did those trio of dips with the pesto. So, for the main course, I'm going to be doing a whole roast side of salmon. So, I'm going to be marinating it in a chamula marinade, which is a North African marinade. Um, that's going to be sitting overnight, and then tomorrow I'm going to be roasting it. And I'll be finishing that off with a Bernay sauce, well a variation of a Bernay sauce. I'll be making a traditional hollandaise and um, I'll just be doing a quick Bernays which will be basically just um, finely chopping some tarragon and then folding that through my hollandaise. And then I'll do a very cheeky little avocado, chili and tomato salsa with that. And um, that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be fantastic. I've got the dessert video coming as well, a really decadent chocolate dessert, but um, let's concentrate on the salmon for now. Now we filleted the side of salmon off a whole fish ourselves, and that'll be something for another video, but um, occasionally when you get a side of salmon, you'll feel along the ridge over here, there'll be some pin bones still in it. Now, um, if you get it from a fishmonger, they will have taken it out for you, but because we did it ourselves, we're going to have to pin bone it ourselves. So what I've done is I've gone to um, a hardware, and I've bought myself a cheap little pair of um, pliers, which um, I've cleaned and sanitized. Now, starting down this end, I'm feeding for where the first bones are, which are over here, and just start by pulling these bones out. I'm just move all along, take all those bones out. So there you go, that's all the bones removed and I'm just running my fingers along there very gently to feel if I've missed any. And that feels like, that feels like everything. Right, so now we'll start marinating that salmon. Right, so this is my chamola marinade, which I've done in the blender. It's basically just, um, coriander, ginger, garlic, and cumin with a little bit of olive oil. Um, the recipe is attached below and it's a really good recipe actually, it's fantastic. It goes with the salmon so well, so I'm just spooning that on, just rubbing it all over. Now that's going to sit on there all night, that flavor is going to permeate through, and then when we roast it, it's going to get a beautiful crust. Now I'm not going to season that at all, I don't want it to dry out any moisture from the salmon, I'm just going to put that on a good sized tray, wrap it up tightly and leave it in the fridge overnight, tomorrow we'll get it in the oven. Right, so for my salsa for the salmon, I'm just going to do a very quick tomato, coriander and chili salsa with avocado. So I've got um, fresh coriander, I've got vine ripened tomatoes, beautiful local avocados, a green chili and some pickled ginger. To that I'm going to be adding olive oil, salt, pepper, sugar. So to get this fine tomato dice or tomato concasse, we take our tomato, quarter it. Now traditionally tomato concasse you should peel the tomato first but in this case I don't think it's necessary so we're just going to leave the skin on. We take the flesh out, we cut into a fairly thick julienne first then we cut it across into a fairly large brunoise to get our concasse. So I now finally chop the pickled ginger. seed that green chili. Let me just cut the chili lengthwise. And then across again. 
Now the people I'm cooking this for don't like a lot of chili, so I'm not going to add that much. Ordinarily I'd add the whole thing, but I'll only add half. See if I can get away with it. So for the avocado, we cut it about three to four times across lengthwise. Cut it across this way, and then finally one small the other way to get a um, semi-fine dice. Ideally, I'd like the tomatoes, avocado, all the same size. Now that I've got the avocado in there, I'm just going to squeeze a lime in. Just soften the lime first. Cut it in half and just squeeze that in as well. So that now I'm gonna add olive oil. That's extra virgin olive oil, salt, and pepper. And give that a good mix. So now we take our washed coriander. Fairly, fairly thin. And that's our salsa done. Right, so I've got the salmon now on a cooling rack, which I've oiled. Um, I've got it also on a bed of dill. Now that flavour is that flavour is going to permeate through the salmon as it roasts. I've seasoned it, just a little bit of sea salt and pepper, and I've got the oven on 180 degrees Celsius. So um, put that in the oven now, and it'll take about 15 to about 18, 20 minutes, depending on how thick the salmon is. So the ingredients for my burnos: three egg yolks, 250 grams of butter. 100 ml of white wine vinegar and a quarter bunch of tarragon which I've chopped. Right, so we start off by putting our egg yolks and a vinegar in a bowl and overheat and whisk it until basically the, the rule that I was told was you can make a figure eight and you can see that figure eight for eight seconds. I also take my hollandaise, um, my egg mixture off the heat every 30 to 40 seconds and I just whisk it off the heat like that for another 20 seconds and then I put it back on. see that for eight seconds that's ready it's vital that you cook the egg out if you don't cook the egg out properly once the um, the sauce has been sitting with the butter in it for about 20 minutes it'll start to split 
Also when you try and put it under the grill, you expose it to heat, it'll split. So it's very important that you cook the egg out. Right. Once you've cooked the egg out, you then get your butter that you've since melted. It's very important that the butter is still warm. Preferably the butter and your egg mixture should be about the same temperature. And then while whisking, you pour your butter in very slowly. Now if you have a look at the bottom here, you'll see there's some milk solids just sitting at the bottom there. Now, traditionally you aren't supposed to add the milk solids, but I find it gives my hollandaise and my bernaise a creamier flavour. So I add about 50% of the milk solids. Once I get it to that stage, I add my tarragon. Pepper. And salt. And there we go, we're done. Right, so here's our salmon that's come out of the oven. I've just transferred it onto this platter. So we'll start now just by putting on some of our salsa. And then we'll put our Bernays right down the middle and we'll alternate that. I've got some lemon extra virgin olive oil here. Just a lot on top. And a couple of coriander leaves. There we go. So there's my whole roasted salmon with chamula rub. Um, avocado, tomato and coriander salsa and Bernay sauce and we're serving that with a very cheeky little cherry tomato, cherry boccaccini and rocket salad. So um, enjoy!